What's up YouTube, Jeff back again from high on Android, DopeTechDaily.com. Back here today with another tutorial how to for your Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge. Now I already did the adoptable storage tutorial, so if you're interested in enabling adoptable storage on your Galaxy S7 or S7 Edge, I'll link that below for you to check out. Today I want to talk about DPI scaling, which is basically the size that content is rendered on your Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge. Now a lot of people, including myself, think that Samsung has a rather chunky, large DPI scaling. It makes the icons rather large, makes the interface look kind of clunky, it also makes the text kind of large, and you guys will see here in a minute when we actually make it a little bit smaller what I'm talking about. So if you do think that your notification shade, for one, one thing that I've heard a lot of people complain about, is that the notification shade takes up way too much space in the drop down, including of course this uh, brightness slider, which there's no way to get rid of without root, and of course the Snapdragon 820 Galaxy S7, S7 Edge may not get root anytime soon. So if you don't like how large this sort of notification shade is, or how large the text is on your device, there's something you can do about it. You don't even need root. Uh, Daniel over at XDA Developers discovered that you can actually use Nova Launcher uh, to change the DPI settings on your Galaxy S7 or S7 Edge. So I have two Galaxy S7 Edges here today, so I can go ahead and do the process on one, and we can compare it and see how the text looks on the other. So I'm going to go ahead and do the process here on my silver titanium S7 Edge. Let me go ahead and just get it open. And the only thing you need to do is get Nova Launcher from the Play Store. Now you don't actually have to install uh, Nova Launcher as your default launcher. You can just go here and search for it. This is the app that you want to go ahead and download. You can see again, I already have that installed. So what you want to do is install that, then go back to your home screen. Again, it doesn't have to be set as your default. You're just going to select Nova Launcher. And then, once Nova Launcher has been selected, you can press down on your home screen, go down to Widgets, and then you'll want to grab the widget called Activities from Nova Launcher. Go ahead and add that to your home screen. And then it's going to go ahead and open up the list of activities. And once we're in the list of activities, it takes them a second to populate, of course. Once we're in the list of activities, we'll scroll down all the way to the bottom, near the bottom. We're going to find settings, and once we find settings, we're going to click on that, tap on that, and the third or fourth setting, let me scroll down here, the fourth setting, as you can see right there, is display scaling activity. Now I'm going to grab that, it's going to add that to my uh, home screen, you see I already did it earlier, it's going to add it to my home screen, I can tap on the icon, and now you can see that you're presented with the option to change your DPI. So what we can do is go ahead, it's already selected to standard by default, obviously. What you can do is go ahead and check condensed, and then if you hit done, you'll get a prompt that says you need to restart. So don't worry about that, you can just go ahead and hit restart, the device is going to restart, and when we're back, we will have our new condensed DPI scaling, we can do a quick comparison. Alright, so we went ahead and rebooted the titanium uh, silver S7 Edge, and now we have the DPI change to condense on the titanium silver S7 Edge, and it's still on regular over here on the black S7 Edge. So if I can go ahead and show you the difference, you see if you put them side by side, you've got a little more room in your notification drop down for the silver Edge. You can see I've got exactly one notification, one for my Gear S on the black S7 Edge, one for Wi-Fi networks on the silver one. And you can see if you put them side by side, this one definitely has more room. You don't have the quick settings and the, the, the brightness taking up as much room in your drop down. So a lot of people are going to appreciate that. Something really easy you can do. I can also show you really quick how the text looks. So if I go into Hangouts, you can see the difference in the text on the two devices. So if you're someone like me who wants to fit a lot of text onto the screen, this is definitely a good option for you. You're not necessarily going to get uh, much better with pictures and such. You can see here in the app drawer, there's a little bit of a difference between the scaling on the icons and the text size below the icons, but it's not going to make a huge difference with images and things like that, but it's mainly going to make a pretty big difference if you are using things like text and reading Word documents, etc., PDF documents, or spreadsheets. So if you guys are interested in this, definitely give it a try. As you can see, I went back to TouchWiz on both phones, so you don't have to keep Nova Launcher on your phone. You can just install it, uh, go through, do the settings uh, idea that I just showed you guys, and then go back to the launcher that you are using before. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. I really appreciate it as it helps out the channel. Find me on Twitter, Instagram, uh, Google Plus at the links in the description. You can also find me with more tutorials and giveaways at my website, Dope Tech Daily. I appreciate you guys checking out this video, and I will see you guys in the next one.